Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for November 12th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Capricorn. The 12th through the 18th of November. This is a weekly reading. I focus on love. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to just see whatever comes up. Keep in mind, this is not a private reading. So it may not be yours. It could be, but it might not be. This is for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for this week ahead? Also, if this is being recorded before November 12th. So it may not even resonate right now. You're supposed to be thinking that this is going to resonate when the timing, you know, timing is fluid. It may resonate now, but it may not. It may not resonate until next week. Keep that in mind. A lot of people forget that. They watch the, like the December readings are out. And I see, in my, not on my channel, but on other channels, okay? And people are disliking them. And it's like, <laughs> it's not December yet. Oh, my goodness. So, anyhow. And that's why I'm not going to do my Decembers until close to December. Because of that exact reason. Anyway. Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? I need to put a bigger candle in that. Ooh, becoming alive again. You may be coming out of a, oh, a situation. Maybe you're coming out of a time of exhaustion. Maybe you're starting to feel alive again. Liven up. Woohoo! Love. Love. The Two of Cups. There's an opportunity for love anyway, right? There is. To come together with somebody. Maybe you've been taking a break from somebody for the last four months. Uh, what is it? It's October or November, September, August, July, June. Hmm. Don't know. That could go many different ways. But somebody's coming out of, you know, taking a break. Maybe you've been working on something else, getting prepared. You could be dealing with a Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There may have been, yeah, somebody may have taken a break from a partnership. Maybe they were feeling like... They, Maybe they lacked confidence in themselves or something. Maybe maybe you or the person you were dealing with was just working on yourself. You know, I'm working on me. I'm working on my job. I'm too busy. I got too much going on right now. I'm, I'm good where I'm at by myself. Focused on my own abundance. Therefore, maybe you didn't really have the time for a relationship. There's just some weird noise outside. I'm sorry I had to listen to that. It happens to be the new moon tomorrow. There is a piercing noise outside. Anyway. This is a... The page of coins reversed. Page of pentacles reversed. It's like a dead end. Somebody has been in a dead end situation. Maybe they thought, maybe you thought it was a dead end. 
maybe you turned your back on a situation and decided, or the person that you're thinking about right now, decided that, you know, I'm better off on my own because this is a dead end. So they shut themselves off emotionally, somebody did, didn't offer love, went into a period of kind of like retreat, but now it's like some sort of truth is being revealed with that moon card reversed. It's like... There's been some sort of revelation. And it looks like, and when I see the emperor, the emperor could be you. The emperor is usually an Aries or a Capricorn. It's it's person that is very structured, organized, hard worker. So, dominant. And I feel like you guys are probably... coming out of that period of you know where you've been in that dead end I don't want to be this is a dead end this is a dead end this is a dead end I don't I'm not gonna stay in this dead end situation where I'm at right now this person's taking the lead in regards to love so it looks like you and this could be you, or if you're a woman, there's a man. Okay, there's a man. This is a man. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but the emperor is absolutely a male energy. You can't deny that one. Okay. So we do have a male here that is, it looks like we have a male that's coming out of, you know, the storm is over. It's like, you know, I've, I've, I've worked on myself. And he, it looks like he's, ready for love we have a we have a male that's ready for love and he probably lacked confidence in himself or he lacked the courage to do something he was overwhelmed with burdens and responsibilities he didn't have the strength to invest in a relationship the time the time or strength to put into a relationship because he's had so much going on. Now, this could be a woman or a man. It's like, I just don't have time for this because we have the woman here. So we have a woman or a man that has been focused on <clears throat> everything but love. But now, I, I, wanna, I don't want to be alone. I want a partner. And they're feeling unloved. We have somebody that's feeling unloved. And I'm 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 not feeling content in the love arena and it's time for me to make a move. So somebody is 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 making a decision in which they've been okay, because twos are about decisions. This is a decision about love. And they've been in a situation where there was no love. There was no love. And now there and there may have even been some secrets here. There may have been there may have been may have been a choice between two lovers. Okay? There could have been two lovers that in the in the mix here. And now there's been some sort of revelation that pushes somebody in a new direction. Towards a new lover. Or something like that. I think, you know, there's been a situation that has, there's been, there's a choice between two lovers here. And I think there's been some deception. There's been some deception. There's been a revelation. Some truth has been revealed. And now, and it's like, it's not that like you didn't see this coming because you did. We also have a Leo up here. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with anybody because we have Leo with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Pisces again, we have Aries, um, but there's been some betrayal, there's been some sort of betrayal here with this, and, and now it's like, it's, I'm sorry, I had to take a drink, it's like a dead end, it is, it's like, I we've reached the dead end, and it's it's time for me to go in a new direction, so somebody is deciding to go in a new direction here, taking the lead. <laughs> so somebody is definitely 
going to be taking the lead to bring back structure to their life and to, you know, take back the control that's been lost. Somebody's thinking about being single. If you've been in a partnership, there's this could be a, this is a breakup of some sort. It is. There's been some sort of breakup, but it leads to new love. It does. And somebody's going to become single, or they've been single and working on themselves. But there's definitely a lot of responsibilities here that are holding someone back, and it's heavy. It's really heavy. There's a there's a heavy weight. Um, Somebody's like carrying a lot of heavy weight about going into a situation. You know what I mean? This guy's headed in to this mess. It's like, God, I got so much on my plate. So somebody has so much on their plate that they just don't feel like they have time or they've messed up a relationship because of their responsibilities. And maybe that's what has caused another person to look look elsewhere. I don't know. But there's been some sort of midlife crisis. There has. I mean, the Hermit Reverse, a midlife crisis. That has caused somebody perhaps to retreat or the need to retreat. The need to go within and refocus and come up with a new plan. Now, you may, somebody may have come up with the revelation that I'm going to grow old alone if I, if I keep going this route. You know, if I just put all my, my, uh, all my time and work into responsibilities and I don't have any time for love, I will grow old alone. The hermit reverse is, is growing old alone. So somebody needs to find the strength to let go of some responsibilities and put effort into love. And maybe that's the revelation here. Like somebody comes to the revelation that I'm not in the most compatible, uh, fulfilling partnership here. And in order for me to find it, I'm going to have to make some sort of move and end something. Because these are completions. This Ten of Swords and this Ten of Wands, they're both completions. Something needs to go. Something needs to go. It's, and there's been some sort of betrayal here. There has. You may have been dealing with one lover, because I see two lovers here, okay? Somebody, you may have been dealing with one lover who was lying, okay? With the Knight of Cups, the Moon card, and the Ten of Swords, you're, there's some betrayal here. Somebody has lied. And maybe that's, they got caught, okay? Um, it could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that you're dealing with. This person um, is not being genuine, self-centered, conceited, gives the silent treatment, um, very impulsive, uh, kind of lazy. I mean, you're dealing with somebody who's not putting in any effort and, and lacks ambition to do much, okay? And the Queen of Wands in reversed. And I think that you have another opportunity that you may want. You may be like, you know what? If you don't have any desire to do anything and you're gonna you need my sympathy constantly you know and you don't have any integrity and you think you're all that you think that you're better than all the rest then yeah maybe it's time for me to move on you know what I mean you have a choice between two people you do. One of them you're compatible with, and one of them you're not. And there's arguments with this person. There is. This is arguments. It's like we're not compatible here. This is a false romance with the Knight of Cups reversed. So it's like this is a dead end situation. There's been some betrayal, there's been some lies. And somebody may be deciding to not. You know, to to 
I mean, this is lies. The Eight of Swords reversed is lies. It's like removing obstacles, taking that blindfold off and breaking free from the lies. I mean, that's what it is. Next to the Six of Swords, it's time for me to move on. I'm not going to stay here and be lied to. Because you have another opportunity for love. You do. So I think you do. I think there's a new opportunity for love, Capricorn. A partnership in which you could be compatible with somebody else, somebody new. But you're going to have to remove this obstacle with whoever it is that is so self-centered that they, they know it. Oh, you're dealing with a know-it-all. you got a know-it-all that's holding you back from, from love. And you, it's, you have to take back your control. It's toxic. You're involved in a toxic situation. And you have the power to take back control. The devil reverses when you, that's you, take back control of your life from this person, whoever it is, who thinks that they're so smart. You're dealing with somebody who's like, oh, you know, I am, I just am the smartest person in the world, you know what I mean? They think that they are like the shit, but the fact of the matter is, it's, it's a lie. It's a lie. It's a fa facade, okay? And they've put you in a situation that has ca caused near exhaustion, whether this is a boss, a mother, a wife, a girlfriend, somebody. And you have to take back your power. You have to restore control. You have to take the lead. The devil in reverse is when you face the fears, you face this demon and say, you know what? I'm in control. Not you. So anyway, there's an opportunity for love here. But you're going to have to step, come out of your, your hermit mode. You're going to have to come out of your shell. You're going to have to let go of something. Because something is holding you back. From this love. See? This is looking at love. He can't, to get to this love, for him to get to this love, he's going to have to drop some of these. And he is going to have to come out of his shell. To get to this love. Drop some of those responsibilities, okay? And put in effort. Put in effort to make love a priority. But I work too hard. Work, 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 right? Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work leaves you lonely. And therefore, your, your heart is not being fulfilled. <sighs> you know. You need to refocus. You need to refocus your energy. Somebody is, you know, you people can help. You don't have to do all the work on your own. It's supposed relationships are supposed to be mutual, you know, whether it's at work or whatever. You can there's an opportunity to work with somebody. You shouldn't have to do all the work by yourself. It's like you're, you're the one putting in all the effort. And the you, you know, <laughs> there's a lack of respect here. Somebody doesn't respect you. And they're just like, oh, you're going to do all the work. They know you're going to do all the work because you're such a hard worker. You're being taken advantage of, Capricorn. And you're allowing it. And it's affecting your love life. There's an opportunity for love here. But you're going to have to give up something. 
You're going to you're going to have to walk away from something and you're thinking about it, right? You are. You're thinking about walking away from something. You're dealing with probably it could be a woman who is bitter and resentful, hateful, miserable, and doesn't treat other people fairly. And you have to find the courage to make a move. You have to find the courage to do something about it. You know what you need to do. Your intuition is telling you what you need to do. Your intuition knows what you need to do. And you've been holding it in for quite some time. You've been restraining yourself. Good job. But somebody doesn't see your worth, and that's the damn fucking truth. Excuse my language. Excuse my language. The person that you're dealing with is selfish. And all they care about is themselves. And you deserve to be loved. You have a golden opportunity waiting for you. But you're going to have to face some pain first. And it's like, I don't want to deal with any pain with the Empress Reverse. You're going to have to face some pain because you got to drop something. And that's painful. So you got to deal with some pain. And then you will have a golden opportunity that is solid, stable, secure. Perfect. The perfect opportunity is waiting for you. Stable, secure, long-term, and full of love. Deep connection waiting for you. But there's one relationship that is unfulfilling, and it's close. It's like this door is about to close. There's no more, there's no more wish fulfillment there, and you have to close that door, whatever it is, to find your extreme abundance. This is like... Abundance, abundance, abundance. This is like rich, rich. You have an opportunity to find richness in a new direction. Underneath it is the Six of Swords, remember? But you are going to have to drop something and deal with a little bit of uncomfortableness with that Eight of Swords. Feel some pain, deal with something, whether it hurts or not, to get to this ultimate abundance. It's here for you. It is. There's an opportunity for a partnership that could lead to extreme abundance. Something that... Oh! Could lead to some marriage. Four of Wands. commitment but you notice it's sideways right it could be reversed it could be upright it's a challenge you have to make a choice between two which way you're gonna go So it's about making a decision as to where you're, what you want in life. What do you want? What do you have time for? You want to grow old alone, or do you? And you could, you could grow old alone, staying with a person that doesn't respect you. That's not fulfilling, and there is lack of wish fulfillment here. You have to make a move. That six of swords is you have to move on. That's called moving on. To find your richness. To find your abundance. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Now, you guys that are watching this, you're thinking about two people. Right? You know one of them is not the one, right? Right? You do. You do. 
and in your mind you're thinking another one is right this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek you know it you know it and with that high priestess below your your intuition is right follow your intuition There's an opportunity for something really, really, really good here. But you have to make that right move. And you might have to deal with some pain to get the abundance that you deserve. Good luck.